Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here with my 2012 Gas Gas EC300 water pump and I figured I'd go ahead and use the silicone that I got. This is the one I have. People get a bigger gasket to spread that out or double up on gaskets or even triple. Uh, just trying to kind of push that out so the impeller doesn't hit inside there. Which mine has a little bit of rub mark and it has a new spot from when I put it on with the uh, checkpoint CNC impeller and so uh, I'm pretty sure it would have rubbed I went ahead and took measurements of the nylon one and ground down to match it so the metal one now has, looks just like the nylon one just took a dremel and just ground the top of the fins I only had to take like a little bit off you know it wasn't drastic difference so, I have that done, I just used a Dremel, and uh, I need a gasket. So, I've never made a gasket, and I'm going to try with a razor blade first before I go looking for an exacto knife with a plastic table, so I should be good there. But this is what I ordered. It was the closest size to the uh, thick one that was... Uh, the dealer had made. So this is just like a fraction of thick, thicker, so it's not a big deal. Um, silicone, so it will withstand 500 degrees. Also has a pretty good high PSI um, pressure per square inch. I don't recall what it is. And I don't really know what, what, what you'd want, but I think it's more than sufficient for a water pump. So, I'll probably uh, have to lay it flat. I'll probably do it on the edge of the table just due to the nozzle. Yeah, that would work good. Like go over here. I'll go ahead and adjust the camera for you guys. Okay, we'll move you guys right about there. I'll try stay on camera. Some of you might know if you've done videos, it's sometimes really hard to. I don't want to waste material. It's a 12 by 12 sheet, so technically I could make a lot of these. If this actually works. Somebody said in the old days we just used a ball peen hammer. I think they actually would take the uh, paper mat, put it against the engine, gets sharper on there, and, and kind of tap around. I um, guess I'll flip this over. I don't think this is sharp enough to actually. Yeah, I don't think that's sharp enough. Well, not too bad. One spot I couldn't quite get to. Say like that. Take out a new blade. We'll see if it works with this type of razor blade. You know, it's a utility blade. I also have I also have old school razor blades. I guess I could try. Well, guys, uh, my wife has a punch. She does crafting, so I went snooping around, and I made that hole right there, which is a lot better circle than I can do by knife, so that was in the my junk one. I just traced out, and uh, yeah, and I, and I hit the screw through, so I have an idea. I can line this up. Good as possible. If I, it's hard to see. And I give it a slight twirl. Go from the back where I can see the line. And just kind of peel it out of there and you know it's not <laughs> it's not made for this this is pretty thick if it was probably thinner it probably would work but yeah I would say that goes through just fine a lot better than using the knife and then figuring it out okay guys I'm back 
I got her other punch. That one actually goes through the end, how it should. I think the other one just doesn't work. So if I want to do a punch, punch, it goes through, boom. <laughs> and it's the size I need. How lucky am I? So now that I got a punch that works, um, I'll go ahead and cut that out and try to finish this bad boy. There we go. I got that out. Ta -da. Second one out. Second try. <laughs> and definitely, you'd want a you want a sharp razor blade. It. <laughs> so, okay. So go back over here. Line up. Just push on that. And see. See if that gives me a good mark just pushing on it. Uh, where's the punch? There's the punch. So just take it. Line up with it being a bigger. Line up much easier than the screw size is obviously smaller than the hole. Doom. There I go. I got it. And that's more. This is more screw size. This is probably a standard paper punch. Or close to it, I would say. I think that I think that's gonna work just fine. It's gonna be snug around. That's gonna be good. So line that back up. Probably just go ahead and drop that in. Just kind of like a pin. Just open a pin it. <laughs> Look for sign from ink pins. Seems like roughly the same size if you're dealing with the gas gas. And uh, so. What do I, I want to remember there's a hole up here. That's what messed me up before. So I kind of want to, I guess, maybe just feel the silicone all the way around, see if it leaves a good mark. I'm curious because not everyone would have a gasket, even if it's slightly wrong on the one side to follow. So like, can you somewhat, yes, I faintly can see where I press down. I don't know if you guys be able to see that. I'll twist it right there. I can see it in the viewfinder. So you might be able to see the light indentation. So awesome. So that gives me an impression. So you can just push on it with your thumb and, and get an impression. Now, if I had big punches, the punch sets come with different sizes, and there's one roughly that size, you'd punch that, you punch that, and then you would just use the exacto and go around that spot and you would punch out that bigger bigger hole don't want to forget about don't want to forget about that hole <laughs> yes <laughs> and so we'll go ahead and in curiosity where did i put it just now oh there it is it's right in front of me we go let's just kind of see Stuff is lining up. Yeah, see, the gasket manufacturer was like way off. And how did they? I don't know. Say, I assume they make a die, but how would you be that far off? So the guy's whole stock was off until he, you know, gets with them and they'll probably refund them and be like, all oh, those were bad. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. You know, sucks for a, de a dealer custom made part like that and he's sending me the right size gasket so technically if I wanted to make more of these later oh I'm gonna have like four of them but <laughs> I could uh I could just uh you know trace the inside and be a hundred percent we'll say like that So 
see. Now, now we can see it a lot better. I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and then I'll, I probably should have pushed down on that while it was all on. I guess I can get a rough relationship to things again. Just push my thumb right there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that, that left a good mark. That left a good mark, so I will it around okay ah that, that looks pretty good looks pretty good there we go we got two pieces now Looking better. Just use this guy, this like thinner like box cutter type deal. Got that separated. Let's go ahead and put it back on. Being that that's a passageway, I probably don't want it blocked. Not too bad. I'll take off a little more on that, that side. It needs to be rounded a little bit more. I might go back to the bigger, bigger blade. I think, I think that will work. I think it's really not that bad. It's not like their cast part flows really efficiently. Yeah, it's just cast material. But I think I got it. So, guys, that's that's how you make a gasket for at least a 2012 Gas Gas EC300 for the water pump. If you want to make one, material is pretty cheap online, like 12 bucks. You can obviously make a ton of gaskets. Being silicone, it should last. I would think it would last longer, plus it's supposedly rated for 500 degrees, which your bike's not going to ever get that high. The Evans, I think, is like 350, 360, something like that. So, yeah, if the motor gets 500, you're going to have, you know, there's going to be issues. So, this should work, and we'll see. We'll see tightening it up, how, how it works. Obviously, uh, silicone, you don't want to over time because it could, it could split the, uh, the material. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.